In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a 3D engine into a desktop application with a graphical user interface. In this example, we're going to use Leadworks Game Engine, but this will actually work with a variety of different 3D engines. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a Visual Studio project that integrates uh, both the GUI toolkit and your game engine. And you can follow the instructions in the documentation here, or you can just click here and download a pre-made project that is ready to go. And we're gonna go to the basic example here, and I've already copied and pasted this into Visual Studio. So let's just compile it and see what happens. Okay, we have a basic 3D program here running in a, in a window. There's nothing special here except that it's working with both our 3D engine and with our GUI toolkit. Now the way this is working is we're calling get displays like we normally do and we're creating a window like we normally do. But then we're taking, we're calling this get handle method to get, and this actually returns the windows handle, the system handle for the window. We're passing that to our 3D engine, which is then creating its own window based on the handle that we, that we send it. And from there, the 3D engine takes over uh, and we're just programming a normal Leadworks program like we normally would. Let's take a look at the second example here, copy that, and we'll paste this back into Visual Studio, and let's run this. Now this is interesting. We have a Leadworks 3D rendering context here working with our desktop application. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the code. Again, we're calling get displays, and then we create a window on the primary display here. We're creating a user interface. And we're just adding a tree view widget just to give us something to something to look at. And then we create this child window that we're calling viewport. It's got the window child style and it's parented to the main window. And then we're switching off to the 3D engine. We're creating a Leadworks window here from the handle that get handle returns and then from that point on then the 3d engine commands are taking over now one thing you'll notice is i've got this namespace ultra engine in front of all the commands all the ultra engine commands whether you're using ultra app kit or ultra engine the namespace is the same and that's because many of our uh, many of our commands are named the same in both Leadworks and in Ultra Engine. So by using the namespace, we can more explicitly specify exactly what we're trying to we're trying to call so that the compiler doesn't get confused. So this is the same basic idea as the OpenGL example where we're creating a main window with our graphical user interface on it and then we're creating a child window that is borderless, it doesn't have a title bar, and we're rendering our 3D graphics right onto that, and it makes it look as if the child window is a part of the parent window, as if it's embedded in it, even though it's actually, it's actually a separate window, but nobody notices. 